So after some talking with some people, um, it seems like some of my tutorials are actually liked. Kind of surprised by that, but anyway. Um, and some encouraging words that I definitely really appreciate it. Uh, Yellow Sub is definitely one that kind of talked me back into getting back into doing some more videos here. Um, I plan on doing more Lua tutorials. I'm going to make it, it's not going to be included in this original playlist here. Um, I'm probably just going to name it like Cheat Engine Lua Tutorials 2.0 or something. Just because a lot of how I do things I've changed. Um, through trial and error, plus I've actually learned a lot more about Lua over, you know, what, to span of two years since the last time I did one of these videos. Um, I just kind of got busy with work and life and everything else. Oh, shit, three years. Anyway, just kind of got busy and didn't get back to it, kept planning on it, and just never did. And I'm finally going to go ahead and get back, and I want to do a lot more Lua tutorials because it does seem like, like a lot of people want to see that, um, and I think it'll be helpful. Um, just to give an idea of some of the things I want to kind of go over on this. And I just want to add, you might hear some background noise kick on every now and again. Um, it's just cold where I'm at, and while I do have central heat and air, it just gets cold in the office. And don't feel like kicking up the heater too high, so it's the space heater kicking on, and we'll just have to kind of deal with that. <laughs> um, so anyway... I've got a lot of Lua code I use. Um, I actually use a ridiculous amount of Lua code in my tables. Even I'm thinking about trimming some of that down. But at any rate, I would just want to go over how to set up your own plugins and then maybe your own modules again. Um, go more into depth on different types of modules I have. Um, as far as plugins, I'll probably actually try and cover some basic stuff. So we might even add, you know, some simple things like this one here that isn't too complicated but it just adds a quick shortcut for opening the Lua engine um, just to kind of give an idea of how to interact with cheat engine um, and then may even go you know or will go over some of this stuff that's kind of really what I want to get into is how to create your own modules and and, you know, actually use them instead of just that dummy with the my print function and that kind of thing. Actually go over, you know, like I do want to cover making your own tutorial, your own uh, teleporter, just like I have here that makes setting up a teleporter and jumping around on the map and saving files and all of that a little easier. Um, but it's, as you can see here, like a lot of what I do changed. Um, I actually now do use the require function. Um, that'll be one of the first things I go over is how I do that because I have a package circuiter and package importer um, set up where I'm actually using the the raw things that Lua gives you access to to, to add a table file searcher. Um, and then we'll kind of go over that and then I've even got some tools that I'll add links to and that kind of thing to help you import stuff automatically. And, maybe even go over how I set that up and just some real basic stuff. Uh, well, maybe less basic, but at any rate, um, uh, I don't include the license anymore, but uh, when I finally do, I do plan on doing like a full release of my full module. Um, that way if people just want to use that and don't really want to make their own, they're welcome to. Um, but that will still be under an MIT license, so it, I'm giving a blanket statement that Anything I include in any of my videos uh, or links to it or any of that is you, you use however you want. I don't really care, you know, make money off of it, whatever you want to do, that's that's up to you. Um, about the only thing I would add would be if you take one of my modules and modify it a bit, just make sure you change the name a little bit, um, whatever, just a description or something, uh, definitely change you're welcome to change the author or just tab your name next to it or whatever but so that way people kind of know that it's not my module anymore it's your module you have modified it just so i'm not trying to debug code i don't have access to um because i've had that happen in the past and it just gets kind of annoying the person doesn't really realize and i'm trying to figure out why they're having problems with it and then slowly after hours or even days figure out that it's because it's not my code and things have changed so i'm not even seeing what they're seeing um 
But other than that, yeah, pretty much any of my code that I give you access to is do whatever you want with. I don't really care. Um, I'm kind of a share and let live kind of thing, kind of person. Um, anyway, I do want to go over more object-oriented coding, um, so we will cover how to do that kind of stuff. Um, like I, you know, showing that function there, but then uh, we'll actually cover how I'm doing that. Because I do, I did finally just write some different things to do, you know, the things that I think are often repeated so I don't have to do it over and over and over again. So like making a callable object, I just have a function that does that and we'll kind of go over a lot of this kind of stuff uh, at the beginning. Just so that way when you see it on my code, you'll know what's going on. Um, and then we'll even, I do actually want to go over like this oprint function I've got here. Um, just so you can explore objects. And I know, because I know that was a major part of how I learned was just printing out a table or a user data object and seeing what all was there. And that way I could start poking around and figure out what's going on and what I want to mess with and what I want to try. And, and this way we even get into more how to learn Lua yourself. Um, because that's a lot of it is just, I know when I learned, that's how I did a lot of it, was just poke around and poke around and keep messing with things until I figured something out um, on top of a lot of reading and going over documentation and even the cheated source code and stuff like that. But I know even I'm not the best with Pascal or uh, Delphi, which is what Cheat Engine is mostly written in. So it's, I can read it mostly, but there's a lot of it that even I just scratch my head, don't know what's going on. Um, but I'll try and help you figure it out that way, at least from the Lua side, you can start poking around with things and understand what an object is or what it, you know, what a function returns and, and get types and all the information you might want from it. Um, some of the bigger code snippets I'll definitely be including in links where I'll probably post a tutorial just like I've done in the past at the Fearless Cheat Engine Forum with a lot of code uh, snippets and stuff like that so that way as much as I do stress don't just copy and paste um, I will admit there are some stuff that at least bits and pieces as you go you're better off copy and pasting just because little typos can really mess you up um, but we'll kind of go over more of that and so uh, back with like the idea of more object oriented coding um, we'll definitely go over some of these basic objects I've set up and I'll help you set up your own. Um, I know like one I've really been using more of in some of my code like that uh, teleporter module uses this grouped memory function that way I can quickly read and write to a bunch of addresses at once. Uh, it seems to be kind of handy for like those vectors and stuff like that. That way I can just pass three variables and tell it to write to it. As you can see here, I just say write all and pass the variables and it'll sit and write to each one of those variables uh, that I've set up in the group to memory. Uh, like we've got the, uh, where I'm setting up the group memory and this is like what I was talking about with the callable objects. Uh, so that way it's, to me, a little more readable um, while this does. And that is one of those naming convention things it's up to you because it starts with a capital i know this is an object and not a function um even though it technically operates as a function under underneath the hood so to speak um but but as you can see uh with that object oriented programming and having some base modules set up we could do simpler things and that way i can just you know do something like this and pass it a table of values and then it'll write XYZ, you know. Um, and then even with the way I've set up my modules, even if these aren't set, it'll just not do anything. It'll just say, okay, those are empty, you know, you pass nil, so I've got nothing to write, so I'm just not going to do anything. Um, and you can always set it up to throw an error. I just prefer this way. I don't have to check all these all the time for nil and do all that. I can just kind of pass and if I've only found the coordinates and I'm not worrying about the camera then uh, it's just not an issue um, and we will go over some of these other functions I've set up and error handling is going to be a big one because I definitely changed 
Uh, you may notice I don't even use a logger anymore. I just really focused on proper air handling and outputting good airs that actually get me the information I need. Um, because I know, like, in a lot of cases, if you just throw an air, a blank air, without, say, this stack index, um, maybe it's a function index, I'd have to look that up, but anyway, uh, without this stack index of sorts, it'll give you an error message with this line number, and it just makes it really hard to track down. Um, we'll go over using that and that kind of thing. Um, this explanatory or expl explanation tutorial is probably going to get kind of long. <laughs> Moving on. Um, so I think that's kind of really the introduction here. It's just to explain that you're going to see some changes. I'll go over a lot of it initially. Uh, eventually, we'll just kind of move along. And and if anybody's wondering why I don't necessarily always respond when you leave messages and that kind of thing on the uh, on the um, YouTube, it's because um, my name's not Tim, if you haven't figured that out. It's a Monty Python reference. Um, so this isn't even my, my normal account. I created this one just for doing these tutorials, to be honest. Uh, that and I think an email address I needed for one of the forums. I just went and set it up that way to make things easier in life. Um, but so I'm kind of bad about I use my main actual Google account and so I don't even get those notifications if you really want to get a hold of me you're a lot better off going to the the fearless forum here and like you can see here I'm not even logged in because I just never go on on this account um, but here I tend to be unless I'm just really busy with life it's you know and I do disappear sometimes on the forum I feel bad about that but it's just I just get busy and I just don't have time for it um, but usually here I, I can be more helpful. I do check here a lot more often than anywhere else. And, you know, I am a fan of Reddit to an extent. Um, but I know while I do post on there, I'm just not, I, I, I don't like the format. I don't like the way the code is set up. I, you know, so I'm just not real big on that one. But here is a scenario you'd see me a lot. Um, and so I'd be more helpful. So I think that was kind of all I wanted to cover in this video, just give an explanation of what's going on and where I'm going forward. Um, and like I said, if you have requests and that kind of thing, you'd be better off going to the Fearless Forum to get a hold of me. Um, I do try and pay attention to the comments, but I just, I don't, I've even noticed YouTube hides those damn things from me, even I'm going to click extra buttons just to see them anymore, so it's not a huge fan of that setup um but yeah if you have requests you'd be better off going to the fearless forum and then you know pm and me or posting in one of the tutorials where i've posted it there and that kind of thing and like i said that's where i'll be actually posting code snippets and that kind of stuff so you don't have to retype every little bit um but yeah i think that's about all i really wanted to cover in this so, um, good luck. <laughs> I hope I explain everything well and don't say um too many times. And we'll just kind of go from there.